Welcome back, everyone. The game, Yale and Harvard. And this Saturday at the Bowl, the two longtime rivals will battle on the football field for the 134th time. If the Bulldogs win, they win the Ivy League championship outright for the first time since 1980. Eric Dobratz has a preview of one of the best rivalries in sports. Yeah, that's what you live for. A chance to play Yale Harvard. It never gets old. And there's really nothing quite like it. After nine games this season, the 8-1 Bulldogs have already won a share of an Ivy League championship. Last week's win at Princeton guaranteed that. But they have bigger fish to fry this week, standing in their way of an outright title, Harvard. They're a very good team. and The best we've played all year. I mean, truly mean that. We'll have to play our best game to have a chance to win. More than 50,000 fans are expected at the Yale Bowl on Saturday. The atmosphere, it's pretty, it's pretty incredible. Um, you know, it's not a crowd that we're used to getting over the first nine weeks of the season. It's certainly a blessing to be able to wear the while on my helmet and uh, go against the arch rival Harvard. Sophomore quarterback Kurt Rawlings helped lead Yale to a victory over Harvard last season. That win snapped a 10-game losing streak to the Crimson. Rawlings said last year's experience should help this week. Taking it from last year, just being able to, to know that you're on the field in front of all these people and just to feel the adrenaline rush coming from everywhere. They're not at all satisfied with, with what happened on Saturday. They were, they were excited about it, but they all realized that you know, this, is, this is not what we set out for. Our, you know, our goals are, are not yet achieved yet. In New Haven, I'm Eric Dobratz, News 8 Sports.